My name is Mary Hennen, and I'm the assistant collection manager for the bird division at the Field Museum, and I direct the Chicago Peregrine Program. So it, it might be going out to see if check for eggs or to try to identify the adults, or what we did our activity today was to ban the young. The wonderful thing about the peregrines is over the 30 years we've seen the population go to where we had none, to one, to over 30 territories that we have in the state today. Uh, it was a bird that was almost wiped out due to DDT and with the benefit of the Endangered Species Act and uh, reintroduction, we have the population that we have now. And they were a naturally cliff-dwelling bird. What they're doing is using cities as a pseudo cliff. So all these ledges on these buildings, ample prey, um, there was no competition for the nest sites. So you're falling Lake Michigan like a waterway. And so if you want to go from Sheboygan to Milwaukee down to Chicago and down into Indiana, you see them using the city skylines that way. If there was any risk that the adults will not take them back, then we wouldn't go through this exercise. But what we can gain through banding them is we can look at longevity, we can look at dispersal, and over this 30-year time period, we can look at the population and see how they've moved around and, and what age they're being successful bringing that. All different things can contribute into increasing our base knowledge uh, of these birds. UIC is beautiful, has a beautiful column in the uh, middle that I can sort of hide behind because the defense of the adult uh, if anybody's been walking in the woods and been bopped in the head by a red-winged blackbird, they'll know what I'm talking about. Banding is sort of a way for us to create a connection to the birds, and we'll do it, do it as a thank you to the, the building management, the engineers, the people that allow us in and help us monitor them. And again, the name means nothing to the bird. It's just, it's better than saying black over green, 12 over X. Our, our longest migrant that we had was um, Okay, Southside Girl, that's a Cubbies fan, uh, was a bird that, from Waukegan that I named after Ron Santo. Loved Ron Santo. And he made it all the way down to Ecuador. One of my favorite ones that kids named was Banana Peel. <laughs> the kid was eating a banana and it just cracked me up when that was the name. We were just banding at Evanston Library of the weekend and they lost a, a, a colleague of theirs. Um, to the fortunate circumstances that we have with the uh, pandemic, and so we named one after him. The main way to get involved in the Peregrine Program is to be that extra set of eyes. The Peregrine Program isn't me, you see and you're talking to me, but I'm one tiny individual. It's actually the people like Judy here at UIC and all the people that watch through the webcams or down on the street that have the office building across the way. Long to be friend, we came to be. Before I came over for banning, I went and looked up, because we've had them so, for so many years here at UIC, um, I wanted to be able to tell you some numbers. And um, so the first year, so these are from 1999 to 2019, so 20 um, years span. We had 70 eggs laid, 42 hatched, and 37 young fledged. That's pretty cool. Yeah.